Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yay! <laughs> Sorry about this. I was struggling to, um... I was struggling to actually get it working. That's okay. <laughs> I love this game. game. Yeah, I, I can see it now. But I've actually, uh, I've played a bit. Hmm. So, so I sent you the link in uh, your, your personal, personal Discord and your messages, messages so you can see. Ben, now you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen. Fantastic. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. <laughs> Oh, I get to meet the neighbors like this? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, don't you dare. Senior. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh my god, they tell dad jokes. I love this. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer when you go grocery shopping. Pop, school your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. hi -ya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I had a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? <laughs> you know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot of- HEY, IT'S A DOG! <laughs> Wait, false alarm. She's a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Ooh, I see where this is going. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See the baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <laughs> Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. A corgi with a neat flat handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Hello! He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Where do I pet the dog? The head scrubs. You definitely could have caught that. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, Ed Sheeran has really just let himself go. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Uh -huh. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. You all, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. <laughs> yeah, look at this tearing. That's my OTP. <laughs> but I'm fine, thanks. Uh, I'm just yeah, messing I can't with you. Actually see the game at all. Why Are you serious? I can see like a corner of the game. Oh, it's, it's been, been like that this whole time. time. You're just okay. getting so into it. I didn't want to. I didn't yeah. want to interrupt you. You were getting so into the narrating. <laughs> I want it to work though. Alright, what about now? 
guy. Sent a screenshot of it. No, I can see what it looks like. No, I just had it in a full screen. Me. Weird. There's something I had to do to this last time. Yeah. I... Oh wait, now it's it's okay. It was getting better like a moment ago. Damn, this is a big screen. Okay, keep moving it like to the left. I know, I'm making it smaller. When I was oh, playing, okay. yeah, yeah, when I was playing Undertale, I had to. That's pulping a lot. This whole stream is gonna be yeah, like this. Okay. Perfect. Even if you just keep it as a small. Okay, right. that is perfect. All right, now you can see it. We're good now. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Where was I? Ha! I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Brian, if you're watching the stream, this is you. I'm Dwayne. <laughs> this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda. Yes. Thank you. With the glasses. <laughs> Brian, what? Yes, that is the best dad. Sometimes also known as Ninja Let me Brian. get. Let me get the uh. The link for anyone who actually wants to. Watch this. <laughs> Monstrosity. Alright. Hit him. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Kar Karamazov. Her... Teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Uh -huh. Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Uh. But she's a senior. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, what's happening? I like how your name is Rukia Kuchki. Go on, Daisy. 1995. Well, it's an old account, Daniel. Are you serious? Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay! I- I really have to battle Brian right now? That sounds Daughter. like a poor choice. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. <laughs> Fifteen? What does daughter do? Can't switch daughters, Amanda is your only daughter. Okay, um... Um, I... For item... I'm just gonna tell you there are two items that you shouldn't use. That I should? <laughs> that you should not. Yeah, Kayla. Okay. You, you, you show not. Brian that your daughter is better. Alright, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Child art grade card, band aid, spelling bee photo. Oh, okay. My daughter doesn't care, so. Grade card is good. Elizabeth, this is an adventure, okay? <laughs> um, I'm curious what grade card is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 health. Really carry that around everywhere? Ow. Maybe it is kind of weird. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? <laughs> Amanda could barely get one of those stick can things. Oh, I don't like this. I feel like I should use a spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow. Congrats, Amanda! Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third one in a row. Brian is a dick! <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Amanda's was potty. So cute, but maybe this is the time to bring that up. I'm gonna die. I need Band-Aid. 
No. Okay, okay. I don't think I can back out now. <laughs> I can't back out, I have to use the child art, Elizabeth. <laughs> Cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. I regained 20. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth, never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 health. Oh, shit. Okay. Ugh. Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 health. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. <laughs> you lose 20. I got my ass kicked! <laughs> Wow. I don't want to date him anymore. <laughs> Look at me. I deserve somebody who will treat me better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we live beside each other. Okay. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Even the dog! Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up <laughs> us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. <laughs> it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir, Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Montaigne. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. We need some coffee. So does this mean I don't get to date him because I lost to him? <laughs> Serious! I gotta get my hands on a nice hot um, cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. <laughs> yes! <laughs> hmm. I guess. Wrong. Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy is going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal mm -hmm. zone. Dad, and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just, just out of sight? sight. And now you hear that jerk who left her mug? Dad. Are you just afraid, afraid to meet, meet new people? people? Yes, yes, Amanda! Amanda. We, we walk inside. <laughs> He's stylish! The, the inside, inside of the coffee, coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. inviting. Vinyl, Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in the poem, I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's a good idea because, like, business is still running? But people, people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. He's my favorite, to be honest. Well, yes, this face... Yes. <laughs> what'll it be? Immediately overwhelmed. We'll have a... Chai Antward, Ice Tegan, and Sarah. Godspeed you, Black Coffee. <laughs> Ice Tegan and Sarah. Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. 
Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 95. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. I'm doing the thing again. But come and write it up, and for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. I understand that on a deep spiritual level. You, you want them in small, small, medium, or Biggie Smalls? Ugh. Medium. Wait, Wait is Biggie Smalls small, big or small? Ugh. I, I should change that, that shouldn't I? I like him. I like him. I like him. What's this deal? He's like my favorite. I spiritually relate to him. What, what happened, happened to my husband? husband? Did, did he die? die? Or did, did he just divorce me? me? Cause, Cause I can't blame, blame him. him. I have teal hair. A mustache, glasses, and I'm wearing a furry cape. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure because I did mess with the audio uh, settings and I couldn't tell anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I spiritually relate to Matt. Teagle and Vera's delicious. Dwayne! <laughs> hey. Why did I name him Dwayne? Dwayne Montaigne. <laughs> you have to come by one my... <laughs> I was looking at my drink and I have a Mountain Dew. So I was like... Montaigne. Dwayne. Dwayne Montaigne. <laughs> I, I love your dad. I love Dwayne. Dwayne Montaigne. <laughs> Man, it kicks, kicks my leg. I, I hope that he finds... I hope he finds the love of his life. Me too, and, and I, I hope it's a coffee, coffee guy. guy. Oh. Every single dad that you meet, you're like, he's the one. Listen, Listen Dwayne, Dwayne is a lover, lover okay? okay? You, you gotta, gotta flirt, flirt with, with everyone, everyone in this game. game. I know, it's just, it's just kind of funny, because like, you met Brian, you're like, yeah, OPP, okay, and then you're like, no, he's a dick. And then you're meeting Matt, and you're like, I hope it's a coffee guy. <laughs> I hope it's the hipster coffee guy. Well, I was gonna be with Ed Sheeran, but then he turned around and beat me at my own game. My daughter drew me a picture, Elizabeth, okay? <laughs> yeah. hey. We're not even sitting at a table. He just thinks the secret ingredients to the Anna's. Well, no, Matt. <laughs> Dad fan puns, but I'll give it a shot. Right said, banana bread. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right, I like right said. Oh, he likes me! Like right said, Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it. I was made to play this game. I really was. <laughs> right said, banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. <laughs> I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professional. Enjoy your coffee! Thanks, baby. <laughs> it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches the eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in! Take care! Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking. Huh. <laughs> Probably. Do I smell bad? You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I get some good work done. The washer dryer is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping on boxes. First visitor? Walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Hello. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at the door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi! I'm Dwayne. That's what my name is. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring over some cookies. 
my, my daughter, daughter cursed me. Doing... <laughs> <laughs> Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Of course, that is my daughter. Like, we look nothing alike, but that is my biological daughter. Somehow. She stole the whole plate of cookies. Wait, did you have a, a, a husband or a wife? I had a husband. Yeah, she, 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 takes, off, she takes after him, after your uh, husband. Yes, yeah, she does. Cause look, she looks nothing like me. <laughs> they use. Yeah, he, she, she's missing the teal hair and the um. <laughs> Go ahead and say it, Elizabeth. What? What? She doesn't look like Goku. She looks like my departed husband. Yes, and the surrogate. <laughs> because I mean, I couldn't have a child that had teal hair. <laughs> Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong for you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh. Oh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. In my house? Listen! Cardigan... I can't think of a name right now. Cardigan man! <laughs> Get out of my living room! You brought me some cookies that Amanda is the missus around. Mister, actually. And, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Oh. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, it's okay. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we have both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Uh, look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. That's unsettling! <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Sunday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph walks away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. You look pretty young to me. <laughs> yeah, I do. But suit yourself. And with that, <laughs> Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. Sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. You ate all of them anyway? D d really? She just... <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. Whip kindness! Okay, but he just left like 10 seconds ago. Huh? She's gonna have a stomach ache. I'm gonna have to deal with this. A positive first impression. Keep it light. Oh my god, it's the kids from The Shining, isn't it? Hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exact. Where's the fourth one? Dead. <laughs> Are you serious? Him. Oh. Uh, listen, I wouldn't put it past those twins right there to do it. <laughs> All three of these kids look like they, they just ate their fourth sibling. Mm. <laughs> we got Bakugo Jr. over here.
They literally just throw their plate on the ground. That's that's yeah. great. Would you, I mean, look at those children. Would you want to go anywhere near that house? You've been awake for what? Three hours? That's three hours too many. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Dwayne! Bro! What the hell? It's Mako! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Bro! Bro! Holy. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Craig is way too thirsty. He's, that, like, he's, he's fallen in love with every single dad he's met so far. Yeah. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Oh, God. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Oh, hello, and hello, cute baby. Nice. Ah, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up. Well, she's like two months old. Are you babysitting? <laughs> nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Damn. I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashly and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all... I can't... I miss them. Twins, you have three mm -hmm. kids? Ain't love something, bro? Right? Kegstan Craig is a father of three! Kegstan Craig? Oh, huh. That was my own college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on the keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog. Yearly. On January 1st, when I promise myself I'm not I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Ugh. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Huh, I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could go grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a, a bro brunch like the good old days. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Sounds great. Oh. There is actually like that, uh, all of the gay bro memes, like... Bro! <laughs> they're, all they're like at their wedding. <laughs> yeah. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys! I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. That's what he focuses <laughs> on, that he's ripped and has kids. Hmm. Dwayne what? is thirsty. Dwayne is really, really fucking thirsty. He, he is! is look at long. him! <laughs> look, this is the thirstiest man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Craig, I knew, is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for okay, dinner. no joke though, Kayla. Um, I have a friend who just... At the fucking... In, in, in San Diego, um, in like the after party, he was sitting in a hot tub eating peanut butter with his hands straight out of the jar. Sober? It's, yeah, no, actually he was really fucking drunk too at the same time, but it was like... <laughs> I, God. Yeah, I, I don't know I, how to I think. I don't know what to think about this, Elizabeth. I'm just saying I wouldn't put it past, like, some people that I know who just straight-up shrink marinara sauce Okay, but me. <laughs> Amanda, he <laughs> opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal, normal people do. do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogged. He was jogging. He's, He's like, like a, a totally, totally different, different person. person. Anyway, anyway, we, we better, better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad I'm going to be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. 
No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it'll be okay. I'll be fine. I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously. I'm a photography major. Promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dream. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. With Brian. She, she is. is that what she's saying? He's, He's an, an asshole, asshole though. though. I, I can't. can't. I, I gotta, gotta go be with, with the, the coffee, coffee shop, shop guy. guy. Yeah. Or Craig. I'm kind of interested in how it would turn out with Craig. Me, Me too. too. Craig would be a good influence on Blaine. Yeah. Coffee shop guy would also be a good influence on Blaine. He, he needs, needs some kind of influence. influence. Look, Look at the man. Oh. This man needs like a really. Hmm major force of good in his life. He looks like he's like, <laughs> he needs something to go, to go right for him. <laughs> Is it the Goku, Goku hair or, or the glasses? glasses? What, what gave it away? away? Um, the mustache and the glasses and the Goku hair and the fact that he's wearing uh, uh. Oh, oh, my, my daughter, daughter didn't make it <laughs> My daughter didn't make it to art school so stop roasting, roasting me for a second. <laughs> That's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. You're actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her. Oh, and before, before I forget, I forget Emma, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight, so... You need me out of the way, because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans! Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm secretly the mayor of this town? <laughs> Amanda, this town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duty. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from... <laughs> but Dwayne... He was a mayor, right? He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch the game? Nice. Huh? Which game? You know, the, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game on TV. That's so, this sounds like you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Alright, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat pop. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? No. Maybe for the sports, it's played out. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Go right, Mr. Vega. Yep, yep, totally remember it. I'll be there. Is, is Mr. Vega hot? We're about to find out. Well, I <laughs> guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS, so I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be... A big, burned-out neon sign hangs above Tiny Dive Bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. This bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me in. I see cold one. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> it's a refreshing taste. 
Sarah, so you're Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. <laughs> I awkwardly turned my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. Oh, so it's actually a sports ball game. Okay. The brightly colored mascot. Fantastic. Hey, sailor. I, that's the wrong tree, honey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at him again. Goodness see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Dwayne, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team's in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game. With ease. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the impression she's a little drunk. Uh, buy a gal a drink. Should I buy her a drink? She's got a wedding ring on. I'm sorry. Uh, don't, yeah, if she's got a wedding ring, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, maybe some other time. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close to what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores the number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team's far superior. I gotta disagree on that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. <laughs> oh, okay. The game. My name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Dwayne. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? That's me. I'm wondering that too. No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Like shots? <laughs> I love shots. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he hands one me. Here's to your help. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what Mickey Friends is. Okay, Dwayne. This guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. <laughs> yes, let's go for the gayest option first. Compliment his cool leather jacket. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Curse, some would say. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Try and make friends. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. Key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. He gets up. Be right back. Got to powder my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Huh, guess so. He got to admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. I bet Robert did cocaine. Oh. <laughs> what? He gotta powder his nose? Okay. Mm. Does everybody li- That's what I'm saying! Right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone lives in this cul-de-sac. It's gonna be a circle of gay. I don't kiss and tell, Dwayne. So we doing this or- wait, what? 
What? I would slow down. That seems kind of fast. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Do you want to do it with Robert, or do you want to? Do you... I'm. I would. Uh, I slow said down. You only just had to try at some random bar. That's what I'm saying. I had one conversation with him, and he wants to do that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I complimented his jacket, and now he wants to sleep with me. <laughs> Are you serious, Dwayne? Oh my God, Dwayne can't have whiskey anymore. He is cut off. What do you mean by, are we going to do this or not? I plop down on the couch and I'm asleep before I even get the chance to take my shoes off. Oh god, actually. <laughs> I wake up to it to... Rise and shine, early birds. Still want to work out? This is Craig, BT. <laughs> what a smiley face. Holy crap, this positive influence in his life after a night like that. Go, go work out with him. I will. Yeah. I will. Go to the gym. Hey, I'm a man. I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet at 20. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. I stretch in my... I thought I said I stretch in my bones break. It's like, wow. <laughs> I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth. Throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. I wonder what outfit it is. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym's pretty crowded. Spot Craig standing out front stretching, of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro. Good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. You ready to kick some butt? Gotta stay posy, dude. With your help, I am. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Should I flirt with him? I want. I want to flirt with him. I get the feeling uh, it's going to be flirt less. With everybody, Kayla. I will. I am. I'm going to. Yeah. Flirt with all of them. I will. <laughs> hey, dude, bro. That means a lot. We head into the gym, and I'm immediate. How? Okay. I have a question. Clearly, what? he's not full on gay. Is everyone in this game just bisexual? Because they all have biological children, like. I don't know. I I'm think some of them could be gay and some of them could be bi. I, I don't know what the deal is. I'm curious, though. I need backstory on all these people. Who wants yeah, to I date mean, somebody that looks like Goku? Like, one of them is implied to be trans, apparently. Um, so, I mean, I guess that it's just kind of the, all the colors nice. of the rainbow. Ah. <laughs> Craig is bi, though. He looks like a bisexual. It's the eyebrow. Yeah, and he's got the bisexual uh, cat scratch. And God bless Twain. I, I love seeing him next to all of these incredibly attractive dads. <laughs> <laughs> he put on the only outfit that was clean, and it's that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Training to crush people's skulls with the size. Using a medieval torture device, praying to some sort of pain god. Using a medieval torture device. There's a tiny man in there, right? And he did something that the court found unfavorable. And now that muscular dude is doling out justice in the form of pain. I don't know. What? <laughs> oh no, Craig's turning up speed about to do the same. How how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple years. What do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I check out my hot bod. <laughs> I try to live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffett song as possible. <laughs> uh, oh. A metaphor about what? About not being able to take shot onto something. Nice. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. Look over to Craig, who hasn't even broke a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force straining through every orifice of my body. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? Uh, no. I don't like the story. <laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? 
I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. We were at the party and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction. So of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I uh, try to steal fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. And then you, you drop, drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. panic. So you, you run, run up to me post keg stand with the dying dirty fish, fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground and you're yelling that we have to leave. So now we're running out of a frat party with the fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth and we give it home and get into a bowl of water but the prognosis was grim. And the next day he's <sighs> alive and well. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never... <sighs> well... I shoot off the end of the trap and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurt. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm fantastic. I managed to stand up and rub my back. It doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. You sure? Yeah. All right, well, here, I brought you this. Oh. That's so sweet. Bro. Dude. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Yeah, yeah right? I, I like, like him. Craig is a good dude. I like how I just go home and go to bed. <laughs> Is, Is the, the teacher, teacher hot, hot though? though? Um, you can make that decision yourself. <laughs> Thank you. What? Oh, it's the youth, okay. Gerard Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind when suddenly a head pops out. Lucien, don't you have a third period to get to? Ugh, fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. I just, just sit there in the middle of the class. Sweet Manchego. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> hmm. Ah. I don't know. share because it might embarrass her. Hmm. I'll just say we just move. I mean, that's honest. So that might... Ah. <sighs> mm. Hey, Hugo. Oh, you ever catch that rye? <laughs> I keep flirting with everybody by accident. <laughs> Leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been a, such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Maybe I can talk to her. Pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops from the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. 
So you talk about Mario Batali the whole time? It was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Let's go to the mall food court. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? God, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find they have to keep things hidden from their parents. That's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, because sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share love you. <laughs> you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegas said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, fine, Pop. Senioritis. I thought you liked his class. It's fine. He's fine. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh, I heard MR's going to that fancy art school in Cali. That's exciting. Yep. You bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. What's so funny? Uh, it's a... I don't think you'd get it. It's a meme, isn't it? Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does she go to your school? Yep. Do you? Like Noah? What? No! Dad! Ugh. I can't believe you would... Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Ugh. Gross. Sorry. God, she's asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and, Guys and girls can be friends, he's my friend. Okay. Okay, jeez. This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. <laughs> oh, I just botched that. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language, Misty. Heck yeah? Better. Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? <laughs> she is my daughter. <laughs> I have to eat through the pain. Can you explain memes to me? Yes. Oh yes. My God. Uh, which, which meme? meme? All, all memes. Oh. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke death. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train. But just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that goth store, Hot Topic? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment? <laughs> uh, I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. Mm. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. All right. Hot topic. Amanda <laughs> runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the yeah. back. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so... Proud? Smooch. Amanda. Smooch! Smooch! <laughs> Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting! Amanda stops. I clear my throat. <clears> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that will forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Montaigne had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead, goth, and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of my chemical romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Amanda's moved. She begins clapping. 
slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patients turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow. Oh, hey, chain wallets. While Amanda busies herself looking at band shirts, I try to find something of interest. Not much for Dad to look at in a dead <laughs> goth and beyond. Uh. Look at ironic mugs. I'm suddenly <laughs> stricken by existential fear. If there's only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here that say that? The whole time I thought I was the only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking charts? I have work to do. Look, this is very important to me. I over <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude, it's just work <sighs> here. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. You want a coupon? <laughs> I give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. The man that drops up me with the shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Hey, Dad Tron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops a shirt under the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. Talk about my hair. Cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? Cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. <laughs> okay. Finally, rest. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode of Artist Scene, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no! The ghosts don't got control of the truck! I can't steer them on their damn... <laughs> <laughs> Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the ghosts. Sweet, we're about to die. Ah, uh, I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, you're going to die. Hmm. That's because we are about to die. You this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road incident. Afterward, I crawl into bed to get a good night's sleep. When do I start dating? Um, after you meet all the dads. I see. And I haven't actually, like, finished any run-through of the game. I've just gotten to a certain point, like, after you've met all of them. Huh. But Interesting. I haven't, like, actually started dating any of them. Hmm? Welcome. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about him for a second. Hmm. Hi. Okay. Chris, Christian, and Christy. <laughs> God, they're weird. <laughs> then, of course, there's our youngest, Krish. Wait, where's Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh, shit. Uh. Lana Del Rey has gotten different. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Lana Del Rey married a youth minister. Yes, she did. Ah. Huh? I'll have to go look for him. Wait, we'll have to... Hmm. Mary, this is our new neighbor, <laughs> Dwayne and his daughter, Amanda. Hey. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine I need to tend to. I love her. Nice to, uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. 
I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. Takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. <laughs> my wife has a wonderful <laughs> sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I picked up some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately starts piling it with baked goods. Uh, I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? That I don't want to have to do with pleasantries. <sighs> Dad. Ugh, they're going to talk about weather. <sighs> go. Do it. Make a friend. How can I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes She's nothing. Diabetes. She is. Oh, hello. Isn't that the barista? Yes, it is. Didn't I meet that guy at the bar? Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Fucking Brian. Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in dead <laughs> cough and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second. All these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. Burger time. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to talk, talk to, to Matt, Matt Hugo and Craig. Well, I don't, I don't think, think it's fair, fair to try and compare two art movements, movements like that. that. Period, the art only exists because they're a unique byproduct, byproduct of the social and political, social and political climate of a time and place. And, place. and to, to try to take something like, like say, the Rococo, Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking, they don't notice me. Craig leaves in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Let's turn my attention to Craig. He seems a little bit more attentive to my existence. I was resisting to resistance training go the other day. Great! Little River here is a great cheerleader. Aren't you, tiny bro? <laughs> you can do it, Dad. So proud of you. Sorry for pooping on you. She must be a handful at that age. Oh, they always are. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves them around. Oh, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. How are you settling in? Almost done. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled, but I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. We did livable throughout the entirety of college. Yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing as a palate cleanser between different types of pizza. She, she still does, though. Hey, she checks after her dad. dad. Dwayne, how, how are you liking the neighborhood? neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Seems, Seems like your daughter's fitting in just fine. Nat points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into flower crowns. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Does everybody have a daughter? Hey. Uh... Chris, so jo Joseph has sons, and uh, Hugo has a son. <laughs> Carmen You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your teacher? Ah. Ugh. Finger guns are way out of the conversation like a champ. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway <laughs> Vega. Nope. Oh. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Kids, right? Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. He nearly burned down half the yard. Oh my God. <laughs> and the year before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And then it spread into my lawn and burned half of my yard, too. Oh, look at him! Oh. Hello. He's like, what, 10? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Okay, know. so he's like... He's, he's what? what? Like 14? Uh, yeah. 14, 15? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm. I'm as cool, cool as a cucumber. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm Anna! I'm cool, right? Man, she just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. Ah! But I was enjoying talking to them. Alright, let's go talk to Robert and Brian. <laughs> Man, I don't think I want to deal with being one up by Brian or whatever happened with Robert last night. Oh no, they caught me staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. Shoot. I flash a smile. Hey, guys. Dwayne! How the heck are you? Settling into the neighborhood, alright? Oh, you betcha! Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50th. Huh. Reminds me of, he seems like an FMA dad. He seems like Armstrong or Izumi's husband or something. Was, Was it the, the laugh? laugh? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. This dude perpetually has a thing of whiskey with him. I... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. I see what he drinks now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right? I... Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Aww. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The last time he went skiing, Robert. Wait a second, are you guys playing long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? Yeah, Amanda and I love that show. It's the best, especially that episode where Callum hides one skis and one retaliates by breaking an engine, cursed urn, and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, such a quality reality television. I don't watch a whole lot of TV, but I do enjoy that show. That and war documentaries. God. Oh. Ah. Oh. Alright, let's go talk to Joseph and Damien. <laughs> Yelling at the cashier. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh my. Hey Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster with some normcore leanings. That's are cool though. Ah, oh, pity. You enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. 
Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone's so friendly and welcoming. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? That it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Blood March at your service. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Uh, hey, won't you come play with us? <laughs> uh, come play with us forever. Yeah. Guys, enough with the creepy twin chick. We've talked about this. Christian and Christy slowly back away. Where do you think they got that from? <laughs> Mary pops in the conversation wine in hand. Uh. I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. I think it might have taped over a VeggieTales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? <laughs> do they never know where their fourth child is? I have no idea. <laughs> Mm. Uh. I've squeezed four little Sweetheart, could you do me a favor and please find Chris? That would be great oh I'm so sure he's fine Mary, mm -hmm. okay, jeez Dad, can we go now? Ah, Lucian, have I introduced you to Dwayne yet? Hey, it's that punk from Amanda School I remember you, whatever That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders Be polite, Lucian bows Whatever, sir. Mr. Christ Christensen may have a veggie burger, sir. Coming right up, bud. Are you vegetarian? Yup. Uh. Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dad. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa! Is that a tattoo? Yep. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's so cool. Want to see mine? What? Lucien pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucien! <laughs> we'll talk about this later. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of it? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though, that number carries weight. Man, Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figures the youth pastors popped out of the womb with the Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. And without further ado, let's work some magic. <laughs> wow. Why do they gotta write it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the artist? I've never seen him make a mistake. I think I'm a dad. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please stop. <laughs> All of the children at the party blew the glorious display of puns in unison. Alright guys, food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cold stack. Nice, isn't it? Feels like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're a single dad trying to raise a kid. Happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with everyone. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Hey, why don't you add us all on Dadbook? Dadbook? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch. We're all on it, so if you need to reach out, that's the simplest way to do it. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. <laughs> hmm. Wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. 
Good choices. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> hmm. I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw a party. A real rager. All the other dads and neighbor. Oh, I know it's the guy at the door. I'll get in, no problem. We're just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. I mean, I too watch cooking shows like this. Yes. I watched Hell's Kitchen for like two hours the other day. Wow. <laughs> Who is Emma P? Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. Stop. Eggs on my cheese. cheese. <laughs> I, I too like, like eggs, eggs on my cheese. cheese. Just a plate of cheese with, a, an egg with a couple of eggs sprinkled on, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, that book? I'm gonna make, make that, that for you. <laughs> oh my god. You, you better, better eat it. it. Oh. Hmm. Ugh. Oh. Like, like that, that ramen, ramen you made the other day, that just looked amazing. amazing. It is really good. All right, here we that, go. I mean, it actually is good to like fry an egg and like. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On a Friday, Friday night, you are more me most, most likely to polish and sort my coin collection. collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep, Fall asleep watching the History, History Channel. Channel. Torment my children with dad puns, or stink at the blissful oblivion. I want to torment my kids with dad puns. If you had one. The best answer, I think. Yeah, yes. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Trusty grill, lost shaker of salt, cast away on DVD for instructional purposes, a boat. <laughs> I don't need anything. My survival skills are training for this day. A shaker of salt. Yeah, you made the Jimmy Buffett reference earlier. Yeah. Yeah. What are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms. <laughs> Tennis shoes with long white socks, a well manicured lawn, street smarts, top grill grillmanship, or comfortable with crying, strong dad arms, or tennis shoes with long white socks. Oh God, I don't. This is a hard one. I know. What did you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer for manuals and instructions. Salty boat captain. Pro skater who's also an astronaut, a good father, the president of space, 
present in the space. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? War documentaries. Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on Laserdisc. Romantic comedies. Whatever will make me cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. Sean Connery's entire filmography. What's your ideal date? Napping together. Doing a thousand piece puzzle. Eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m. Trying to geocache but getting hopelessly. Okay. That's not funny. <laughs> Arson. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan. My sick vape. My book of word jumbles and a pen. A cool knife. My crippingly low self esteem. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. I'm gonna pick my self esteem. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. How proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. When can I next get a cup of coffee? Lawnmower modifications. Conspiracy theories. Profile complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. Welcome. You've got yeah, that. Yeah, just message every dad. I I will. Except for Joseph. Joseph's kind of awkward because he's married. Yes. Well, give them all free stuff. I, I actually don't know. I haven't really gotten to this point. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I'm really curious about like Damien because that that seems like an interesting situation. The goth guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm legitimately curious about what the goth guy is gonna... <laughs> the Hot Topic Dad. Ah, I'm fine. Go, oh, Amanda! Same. Popsicle. Oh. Why, Why is she, she so, so sad? sad? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Us were really Ugh. doing great in senior year. There's a lot that could be going on with her. Yeah. Is it because her dad died? Is it because I don't have friends? Like, I don't know. Huh. Dang it, Elizabeth. She could have like a million things going on. She could have like significant other trouble. Like, or, I, I don't know number of things could be going wrong that she doesn't want to tell her dad about. Mm. Yeah. What's important is that you're having fun! What are you willing to sacrifice to win? Like that one. Or something. Right, just, just brace, brace for impact.
Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Pizza, my kind of place. That, that is Dwayne's hangout. Oh. Oh God. Eyebrow, I'm curious. I don't know, he might be doing it for fashion. Huh. Or he got in a fight with a cat or something. Hey. <laughs> wow. Right? They don't look like evil twins at all. They look like good twins. Oh. Yes. Janet. Mm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Lady, How I dare Janet. It. Right? <laughs> and your your Goku looking. Definitely Isn't not it, Goku down. Isn't it great? <laughs> Amanda. Bro! What's going on? Now's a chance. We don't get out of here now. We're stuck for the rest of the night. Think you can't check your fa Facebook messages, can you? Oh, I can't on my phone. Oh, uh -oh. on the softball field after hours. Right? It's getting saucy. <laughs> Hold on, I can't play catch with a man who has a baby on his chest. Um, you just have to be more careful. This is a trust exercise. I trust that the exercise will not work. I want to have four daughters. <laughs> you are already set on marrying Craig, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> See? I just keep flirting with him. So is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Huh, I'll admit I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them in sports. But no one was there to run the team. It's not the only thing that was thrust upon you. <laughs> Damn it, Daniel. <laughs> He's 
He looks so tired, like I've trained him too well. So, you run a nice. business now? Yep, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like <laughs> he'd make a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your, ba your back. You can sponsor me. I'll rep your athletic <laughs> Le leisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. <laughs> Can't believe you're a father of three. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. Switched your major four times. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led up to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, I don't know. Is it me? Oh. oh. That hot, hot Run. silence. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. I feel so uncomfortable. Same. <laughs> right? To everything that you just said. Right? Those kids love you. So do I. And to add to the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down right. Thanks, bro. It means a lot coming from you. Damn this tension. Right? Sexual tension. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Look at his face. He's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the dad thing for a second. I don't know. It's worse than I thought. Hey. Oh. 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 I mean. Oh, should I say that was planned or I mean? He just said he's not ready to date, but at the same time... He's hitting on me! <laughs> that, that was planned. planned. Probably don't teach, teach the more advanced techniques for the Little Leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to, used to catch balls with his teeth, teeth all the time. time. I still got, got it. it. Maybe they'll learn in high school. school. Hmm. What on earth is going on over there? Some flirty shit on a softball field. Bro. Oh. That kid is asleep. You are an irresponsible father, Craig. Hey. Hmm. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Okay. Back in a minute. Fantastic. Just like old times, huh? Wait, what happened? I, I didn't see it. Okay, okay so, so clicking on, on each one of those guys in the dad book thing, it, it actually initiates, initiates a date. date. And, and I, I got, got thirsty, thirsty, almost maxed out. out. We're, we're not bro, we're halfway baby almost, but we're thirsty AF. And I got a shit ton of daddy points. That was a good date. That, that was, was a, a really, really good, good date. date. Yeah, yeah I, got I got an A. And are you even gonna want to like try anybody else now, or are you gonna just? 
I'm, I'm kind of dead set on Craig. Craig. I'm, I mean, I don't want to mess up my chances with him. him. Could do a few runs and choose a different dad. Like, if you were to, like, save here... I, I don't know if you can. can. Let's see. I know that you can have multiple save files so that you can try different stuff. Is it? Because I, I hit save, save and it just puts me there. there. I don't know then. Yeah, I'm experimental, have Daddy. Time. Maybe you'll just have to try some different runs. That's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. But, but I, I should, should probably, probably go, go to bed. Because <laughs> 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 I, I haven't slept in days, man.